Your talk begins now. All right. Imagine if I have a cut on my hand somewhere like here. I have two sort of options on how to let it heal. I can either patch up my whole arm and put it in a sort of cast and not let it move for a while, thereby losing the use of my arm, my fingers, and my hand for a couple of weeks, not being able to use them until the cut is healed. Or I have the other option of doing something like a small Band-Aid and, and just patching the area where I have the cut on my hand. With this, I can continue to use my hand, my fingers, and my arm in everyday use and wait until my cut is healed. So now imagine if my arms are wind turbine blades. And just like my arms, wind turbine blades often have cracks or small defects that they get because of imperfections during the uh, manufacturing process, as well as weather effects and load cycles. So why can't I use a similar patch style repair method to repair my rotor blades when they have defects, rather than taking them all the way down to repair? Because the fatigue behavior and mechanical properties of such patch-like repair methods are not fully understood with respect to wind turbine blades, they are often taken entirely down and then serviced and then put back. This is a costly and time-inhibiting um, service and it takes a lot of the service out of the rotor blades. So the same way that it seems funny to patch up my entire arm for just a small crack on my hand, a small cut on my hand, the same way it's funny and cost inhibiting to take down an entire blade for something that is a small crack. So that's exactly what we try to do here at the BAM. We try to compare and develop different patch style repair methods for wind turbine rotor blades. We utilize samples that are glass fiber reinforced polymer material with a foam sandwich structure, exactly the same way that wind turbine rotor blades are made of in the shell component. And we introduce different repair methods with different variables, comparing them especially from the fatigue perspective. So during the fatigue testing, we follow their crack behavior and therefore understand which patches work best so that we can lengthen the life of the wind turbine blades and not have to take them down. Rather, repair them as they are, immediately continue to use them. And with that, we aim to understand a general comparison of the repair methods, leading to further development of the best methods and being able to repair our wind turbines and use them quicker and more efficiently to produce the electrical energy from wind that we very much need. Thank you.